Hey guys, Yummy here again, and today I'm bringing you some Evolve Alpha gameplay. Uh, playing as the monster, this is actually my only my second game uh, in Evolve, and this was definitely my first time uh, playing as the monster. This is an extremely close match that goes down all the way to the wire, and it, it was really exciting. Um, I, I enjoyed it a lot, so I'd like to talk about what I'm doing uh, right now in this gameplay. Uh, the game just started and the first thing you want to do is run away <laughs> as quickly as possible because in the beginning the monster is extremely weak and easy to kill by the hunters which drop and the uh, hunters drop down right where the monster spawns so you want to get out as quickly as possible you saw me following the river because the river covers up any tracks that you might leave um, so it's a good way to get a far way away without the hunters being able to know where you are um, I'm killing these animals, these weird dinosaur animal things that are around the map, uh, to build up my shield and to increase my uh, level, basically. J just the, you have to eat a considerable number of animals to get that full circle and evolve to the next level. And it takes a little bit of time. It's not not too long, and uh, not long enough for the hunters to reach you before you reach level two, unless you're extremely slow. Now I'm walking around using my smell ability, come across this giant thing, <laughs> dinosaur insect creature. Uh, he's definitely a harder creature to kill, but still no issue for me, and um, definitely easier than the hunters would be if I faced them. Uh, but he does give me four uh, segments, I guess, arcs of the circle, and uh, increases my uh, level a lot. So I just need a few more to level up to uh, level 2. So I come across these last few alien dinosaurs <laughs> to level up. By this point in time I'm sort of beginning to wonder where the hunters are. Um, trying to see if I can climb that wall I can't. Um, because it, it had been a while since I've seen him. Uh, I, th I heard gunshots at different points um, and that pretty much gave me a clue of, where their, of their whereabouts. And here I am evolving to level 2. And once you evolve, you get to upgrade the numerous perks, uh, three of them. And um, yeah, so I'm now a way much harder to kill. Uh, nice frame, frame rate drop there. So a little bit later, after killing a lot more animals, I finally come across the hunters. And I try to run away, but they manage to seal me inside of the dome, so... I'm like, it's go time, so I'm definitely not as prepared as I could be, uh, being only level 2 and not the maximum level 3. Uh, using some of my perks to kill some of the hunters, uh, that they know that they have me pretty much cornered being stuck inside of this dome, and what you want to do is you want to single out one of the hunters at a time and try to uh, bash them down one at a time, but of course he keeps getting he healed and uh, his own personal shield keeps protecting him so I decide to shift and go to a different hunter so it is very uh, hard for me to manage to kill him but I do finally manage to down the assault I believe and uh, they the trapper keeps getting me with those harpoons I keep getting hit with everything it slows you down like nothing else and um, yeah I, I know I've made a mistake and uh, I'm trying to get out as fast as possible but hopefully trying to kill this one guy but once that shield was down, I decided to hightail it out of there. So now I'm running full speed, using the river to cover my tracks, and leaping away as quickly as possible. Of course, you only get three leaps before you run out of stamina, but it does regenerate after 10 seconds, I believe. Um, so yeah, so I have covered quite a bit of ground from the hunters, so I am safe for the moment. And now at this point, I am deciding to kill those last few animals and upgrade myself one last time but the hunters cut across the center instead of following me around so now they're very close to me again but I do decide to kill animals and uh, not go after the hunters of course uh, it's, it's always like a, de a quick decision to eat animals whenever the hunters are nearby it's like if you go after the hunters you might catch them off guard and kill one of them but if you go after the animals, you get more shield, but the hunters can attack you first. So it's kind of a trade-off that, that is pretty interesting. Uh, at this point, I'm almost at level 3. Need to 
eat only like one more animal and decide to not attack that shell thing because it seems to not be taking that much damage so I wipe out these last few dinosaurs I, I guess they're dinosaurs and get that last bar so now I'm ready to evolve to level 3 and uh, of course it takes about 10 seconds to evolve so you need to make sure you're in a safe location I was it was a good move um, because at this point I later found that the hunters had moved back to the um, back to the uh, uh, the station thing so they can defend it because once you reach level 3 you're able to attack the relay so now they are back just sitting on the relay because they know that the only way I can win is by killing them or by destroying the relay so I decide to attack them full out it's time for that final showdown I have full shield and I am level 3 it's 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 go time so throw that rock freaking crush them it's it's awesome get that barbaric accolade um, you wanna use your abilities as much as possible because they are way way more effective than your normal attacks um, of course they do all have to recharge but to be honest they don't take that long to recharge I I get harpooned like five times and manage to take it out in one swipe and this is the difficulty you need to choose who to attack because the assault can shield guys different guys on the team once or once an assault is a high enough level and the medic can heal different guys on the team so basically no matter who you go after they can be shielded or protected by another hunter so this is where the difficulty for the monster comes in uh, using that smash the smash is very useful I found they get a good spot on top of that little dome thing I don't decide to climb up there until later um, but yeah, I still managed to to knock one of them down. Of course, they can still shoot you when they're down, and they can be revived. So right now, basically, I'm using that down person to, to funnel them in and try to kill them, because I know they're going to be trying to revive them. And uh, he's starting to be healed by the medic, and I now know who the medic is, because based on silhouette, they're so small that you can't really tell who is who. So now that I know who the medic is, I know who to go after since that is the assault that is down he can't shield anybody so the last the first two people you definitely want to go for is the assault and the medic the trapper not so much because you can kill um, him pretty easily he doesn't have much armor and you can destroy those harpoons without much trouble um, but yeah just trying to single them out and corner them is the biggest thing that you have to worry about as the monster um, in other cases you would be going after that relay but that is if the hunters um, are either really aggressive so they don't worry about defending the relay or um, there's only one left or so uh, but it might it takes quite a while to destroy the relay from what I've seen um, in the top left corner of the screen you see the finish them icon uh, it's a warning in one minute uh, all of the dead hunters will respawn and since the only way to win is by killing all of the hunters or by destroying the relay if any of them respawn uh, it's it's like starting all over again and since I, I have less than half health and all my shield is destroyed I have no choice but just to go full out and try to kill him I don't decide to kill him all the way that uh, little dog monster thing and decide to go after the last person um, it's taking down only 30 seconds left in the match and this person is very good at keeping their distance but they do make a few mistakes and uh, don't and are not like the most aware person um, I get very close very very close to killing this person numerous times and then I finally get that smash on them take down the grand majority of their health they do heal it a little bit back but it's not enough and it goes down to the wire five seconds left three seconds and then get that one swipe and knock him out down to the wire my first match as the monster and that was probably one of the closest games I have ever had in a video game <laughs> down to one second and managed to kill him so this game looks very promising uh, it was pretty fun to play and I'm not sure if I would buy it full retail price because the gameplay does seem like it would be fairly repetitive um, so I would definitely would wait until a steam sale so that is it for today. Uh, if you guys like this, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, this is Mium. Goodbye and good hunting.